What's going on YouTube? Gio right here. So in today's video we have important news about the check rain jailbreak for the iOS 13.2.2, 13.2, 13.0, 13 all the way down to the iOS 12.3 for the iPhone 10, all the way down to the iPhone 5s. A new version has been released a couple of days ago and I tested this one a lot and it works pretty fine. The check rain account here said quote check rain beta 0.9.5 is now available at the official website and this update features a smoother user experience to enter the few as well as fix for a lot of bugs so make sure you check it out now in this video we're also going to discuss about the upcoming windows and linux version so stay tuned but for the moment let's check out this beta in here if you go ahead on the website you can see that the version 0.9.5 is the latest available for mac os and it says in here that it has a lot of bug fixes and it also gives some important details in here on the bug fixes side it says quote fixes an issue where the user may be signed out of their apple id and fixes an issue that caused mobile substrate in initialization to be delayed. Detect a case where the user may have an OTA update downloaded which caused issues for some users. So these are the important things of this beta. They also said in here quote the following issues are caused by incorrect DFU mode entry. Please make sure to follow the instructions in the UI. An issue where the Taptic engine did not work on some devices. An issue where the biometrics did not work for some users and an issue where the touchscreen became unresponsive for some users. Battery settings panel issue. We have investigated this issue extensively and found that some tweaks and libraries which some tweaks depend on cause this issue so if you have problems with the uh, battery settings panel not showing or displaying incorrectly check your tweaks other changes the update includes a new fast dfu sequence entering dfu mode should now be easier and more reliable the loading mechanism for the substrate has improved in this update which improves the stability of the device if you are experiencing the minus 20 error please re jailbreak with the no substrate mode checked in the app and see if removing tweaks resolves your issue so for the moment the ipad air 2 ipad 5th generation and ipad pro first generation are still not supported however i said we're also going to talk a little bit about the windows and linux version well the official check rain account in here said quote we are working hard on the windows and linux versions but as always the official ada is soon now they did give some details here on the website on what is needed in the uh, faq page in here for the windows version and they say quote we need to write a kernel driver to support windows which is a very complex piece of code which will take time rest assured however we're working hard on it now somebody asks a very important question in here shouldn't linux be dramatically easier than windows and they say quote it is but both are still being worked on and later they explain the fact that different teams are working on the linux and windows version and they will be released at the same time or in the same time frame but by different teams so the developers who are doing the windows version are not working on the linux version so they're not taking the time from one another but yeah there will be a windows version and there will be a linux version soon but they take time due to different drivers and stuff like that which have to be programmed per platform which takes a lot of scale because drivers were never easy to code so yeah there will definitely be windows versions and of course linux versions but for the moment the beta that we have today check rain 0.9.5 only works on mac os so yeah that's very much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated update your check rain to the latest version and of course i will keep you updated when the windows version is out thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time peace out